first question I've got to ask is, uh, how familiar were you guys with the album before you even got into this? I was super familiar with it. Um, I, I've been a lifelong Proclaimers fan, and all my family and extended family um, have been uh, massive Proclaimers fans. So I was very familiar. But in saying that, I was familiar with obviously all the massive hits and a lot of lesser known hits. Right. But there's still some surprises in there that I, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't heard. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty familiar. Um, on the other side of it, I wasn't familiar at all really. I knew the big anthems, right. so 500 Miles, Sunshine and Leaf, you know, like I, I knew them, but I didn't know the rest of the famous music at all really. Um, and this has been an amazing introduction to it. And you know, as soon as um, the job, like the audition came through, I, you know, I started listening and just now love them. So it's been really great to be able to. Um, yeah, like find some new music that you really love. That's cool. Did you guys, what was the transition like to hearing the song to then actually performing them? Uh, what was that like? Well, I think um, the biggest transition was probably hearing Paul English, um, Paul, who was the musical director. Right. His um, take on the song was really quite different from the original tracks, and so therefore um, that helped set up a kind of energy about. How and you know, like how we were going to perform them, you know, kind of whether it was like f feeling that the energy was up or whether it was low and more melodic, or whatever. Um, so that was the first sort of point of contact, and then it was about getting the songs down and recorded, and having space to kind of have, have room to move whilst performing it. Right. Um, and then on the day we just we were, you know, you would have a feed. Um, or there would be the PA around the set, and you know, you just the, the track would come on. You'd built the built the number out. And yeah, I mean, I think it, it, what was really cool was, you know, obviously the Proclaimers have a particular kind of style, and um, with Paul um, and his different interpretation of their music, it allowed us to bring what we can, you know, what we can yeah. bring to the songs and bring our kind of um, put, our, put our stamp on it. And we didn't, we didn't. What was really nice is the Proclaimers were kind enough to let us explore with their songs and yeah. and that was that was really exciting and really cool yeah so. and then what was it like uh, filming the story because it's it's quite a rich story it's very deep very emotional yeah um, you know you guys have very interesting parts to play in the kind of three love stories that are going on at the same time yeah. um, it was a we spent a lot of time ensuring that these people were real. Mm -hmm. You know, we had we constantly had to justify why we were doing things, what we were doing, why we were staying in. You know, in, in any film, if you're doing your job properly, you always go through that process. But more so in this film because it had that thing where it was a musical and there was, yeah. a, there, there was a risk of it going into that category that we were we were reluctant to. We wanted to kind of redefine what it is to have a musical for it to be a musical. Um, but I kind of. You, we were saying that earlier on. Um, <clears throat> I think we all kind of fell in love with the characters that we were portraying, and for the most part, brought ourselves rather than create this this other person. It, it kind of was like a, I was playing. I was almost to Dexter point. cast it very well. Yeah, it's, it's smart <laughs> um, casting. But no, yeah. I mean, I think Stephen. Um, Greenhorn has written really um, three-dimensional characters and they've all got really, as you say, really complex, interesting um, um, qualities about them to kind of explore, you know, and mm. it was, yeah, it was just really wonderful to be able to get your teeth into that within a musical frame and yeah. and the challenge of, um, you know, Dexter was always like, it's got to be, this has got to be real, it's got to be grounded, the songs come out of, it's not, you know, do a... A, you know, a really real grounded scene, and then suddenly sing a lovely song. It was, you know, the song had to come out of of the reality yeah, of the, it was of like the an scene. Extension and, of, of yeah, the scene and that dialogue. was great. Yeah. And what's uh, I mean, it seemed I don't know where it was filmed, but I mean, it's it's like a postcard from Scotland, from Edinburgh. <laughs> was it shot in Edinburgh? Um, yeah. Edinburgh and Glasgow, yeah, all the, all, all the uh, location stuff that you see is Edinburgh, um, and the amount of times last night, last night was the, obviously the premiere of it, the amount of times last night that people commented on the fact that it's the best that Edinburgh's ever appeared on screen. It looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. in terms of the light during the day, at night time, 
there, there was literally sunshine on Leith, which was, <laughs> which was a miracle. Um, yeah, it was, it sh it, the sun shone every single day. It's yeah. amazing. Shooting outside, it was amazing, especially for Scotland. Yeah. We were all a bit like, oh my god, we're completely blessed. <laughs> yeah. It was nice. Yeah. It, it almost, I mean, it's that, that classic, it plays a role in the film of the, the other character. Uh, did you guys enjoy filming in Scotland, in, in Edinburgh? I mean, oh yeah, I loved it. I mean, kept. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's my hometown. Of course, home, well, Glasgow's my hometown, but you know, being so close, we. Uh, it was incredible, you know. And it, for me, it was just you know, it, it ticked every box that the perfect job ticks. It's you know, the fa my favourite band, one of my favourite directors of all time and actors of all time, um, working in my home country, meeting amazing new friends, and then also you know, playing a lead in a. In a, in a film that's hopefully now going to be a big deal and um, or certainly was for us at the time and people will hopefully people will enjoy it yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Scotland's one of the biggest characters and, and certainly Edinburgh is as it well. really is I mean for me I'd worked in Glasgow before um, <laughs> on a job that was less less fun um, and had kind of come away from going oh Glasgow seems like a cool city but oh you know I don't know the job was a bit miserable and this was just a completely different experience you know Glasgow's amazing like on this job which was just such a joy to work on like it just trans it, you know Glasgow's fantastic Edinburgh is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been yeah. I mean it's it it's so likened to like somewhere as dramatic as Rome or you know everywhere you look yeah, the yeah. architecture it's just breathtaking. Yeah. Um, it was just like being on holiday yeah. doing this job. It, it reminded me awesome. when I was there, it took me right back. Like yeah. The second I saw it, I was like, oh my god, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, and it's like it's because of the proximity to the countryside as well. You know, you've yeah. got Arthur Street looking over it, oh you've god. got the beach yeah. on the bottom of the hill, you've got the sea. It kind of, yeah. It's it may help tourism as well. Yeah, it may. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, hopefully, yeah. We'll give them hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So then otherwise, what was the rest of the cast like to work with? Because it's a really interesting cast. And you've got nice age groups even of all the different ages of actors. Yeah, yeah. well the four of like, myself, Antonia, George Mackay who plays Davy, and Freya Maver who plays Liz, um, we, we instantly bonded and became a really tight knit. Um, and, and Peter and, uh, and, and Jane sort of became sort of paternal and maternal <laughs> figures for us anyway. Right. We, we did sort of evolve into a little family. Um, it was amazing, yeah. wasn't it? And uh, such a talent, sorry. No, no, go on. But such a talented cast that every scene was a joy to be a part of because you could tell that, you know, everybody was desperate to make it the best it was po possible to be and, and there was always fresh ideas and there was, you know, there was a confidence and a, a bravery to try something different. Right. Um, which is not always the case. Um, but yeah. And, and, to, and to work with the likes of, I mean, to work with these guys, as Kev said, we they're fantastic young actors and we just got on so well. But then also to work with the likes of Peter Mullen and Jane yeah. Horrocks, yeah. and for yes. me, they're just you know legends. Like yeah. it was just, and to watch them work and to learn from them mm. was just yeah. amazing. Yeah, and um, legends in almost completely different fields when you think yeah. of their, you know, right. their back. What they've yeah, done. Yeah, and to see them come together and see, see all that work out, it was just it's a real amazing yeah. experience, you know. That's awesome. And did you guys end up sharing some drinks off set? Or did yeah. you guys hang out a lot on set? We, I think, yeah. I think the the great thing about it was that, as Kev said, we bonded, we bonded work-wise, but we really did. Um, we've really become really great friends. <laughs> yeah. And we, um, you know, we did a month's rehearsal before we started. Wow, and we cool. were living in this kind of like apartment, the four of us, yeah. like young people in this apartment, and kind of we just we went out a lot and um, enjoyed, obviously. Not too much, like professional <laughs> team, yeah, but, very full, you, but you know, like it, we were able to have a good time and enjoy the cities too, and it was great. Yeah. It was really were good. you singing? Sorry, I don't no. want to cut you off, but were you singing these songs? As you were hanging there was, out. I'm not going to lie, there was a couple of occasions in nightclubs, uh, a couple of occasions walking down a really well-known street in Glasgow and a really well-known street in Edinburgh and George and I were um, belting out, I'm on my way. Um, <laughs> Because they were just, we were listening to them every day, yeah. so it was just round and round and round your head. And also, great. you can't escape them in Scotland. Every the, Those yeah. tracks get played every day in pubs and clubs Absolutely. and, you know, you know yeah. coffee shops all the time, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you guys very much. Thank, thank you. you. Nice Thanks you. very much. You too.